Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome to the channel. So what I'm going to do in this video, no tutorial today, but I'm going to show you three add-ons that are free that come with Blender that will save you a lot of time and hopefully it helps you. So also, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check out Blender Kit, 10% off. And yeah, this is like the best add-on in my opinion. This is not one of the add-ons, but yeah, this will save you time too. So first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit preferences and let's go try lighting so that one click on it enable it and then i'll just show how to use it quickly not going to talk too long about it but then you're going to go shift a mesh plane s let's scale it up and then let's just do this quickly and boom e extrude perfect now let's go to tab Let's add an object, so shift A, mesh, monkey, and then just go X, G, bring it up, and then just scale a little bit down, so we can see what we're working with. Now, let's say everything is dark, so the world is completely dark, and I want to view it, this object. So now I want to view this object, all you do is you click on the object, so let's go back here, boom and go shift a go to light and click there now obviously the light is a bit far away so what you can do is you can click there and the height you can bring it down in the distance you can bring it closer something like that bring it down and you can also change the angles of them okay and you can even change the type of light but we normally leave it as Area lights are normally the best. And then if I zoom in I'll click on the camera, boom, you can see it's lit. And then all you do is to increase it. So your key light is always your brightest. Click there and you just increase it like that. And then same thing with your full light. Normally that's the second most powerful light. And then your back light is normally the least powerful. And then let's say you don't want all the lights, you can just enable disable them so you can see if I disable each one there boom so you can play around with getting a look that you want so sometimes you don't need a key light and let's say you just want to light it once with that light that looks good enough so you just got the one light coming from there just remember once you click out of the lights so if I go back here you won't get those options so make sure you get the lights where you want it before you click and it adjusts the, the brightness and the power basically. So let's delete this. So next add-on, let's go back out of preferences, delete this. You're gonna go Archimesh and enable Archimesh add-on. Okay, then how to use it. Shift A, go to mesh, and there we go. Now this is pretty cool. So if you doing like rooms and architectural stuff and and that kind of stuff you can see you can get all these kind of stuff so you can, so you can get like a door so boom and then you got a door and then you can go yeah boom and boom 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 so you can see obviously you need to put materials on it but you can just click on there and then you could always just go like this so if you've got blender kit if you've got real-time materials boom click here you can get like wood so I click on the door and I didn't mean to do that but just go material, wood, boom, boom, boom. And you can add like a paint material there. So boom, boom. Let's look for paint. Doom, doom, doom. Let's just go with chip paint, add material. And there we go. So you can see if I go to Archimesh, Mesh, Archimesh, you can see you got panel window, rail window, cabinet, shelves, column, stairs. So you can just click on stairs and then you can adjust the number of steps. Bring it up, bring it down. You can change that, you can change that. Boom. So yeah, this is a great way you won't have to then model certain things. So if you're doing a lot of arch architectural stuff, yeah, this is a pretty cool add-on and it's just nice to have it. And then the last one is go back here boom and type in extra 
and add extra objects mesh you can even add the curve one as well but we're gonna go as a mesh one then you got shift day mesh you can see you got yeah you got pops you've got a rock generator so you can click there and it just adds a rock you can add more rocks so let's just go with one so i can just show you and then you can go scale y scale you can change it like that z deformation you can change that roughness detail level so that's pretty cool and then you can obviously throw in a material like i said boom so if you've got this rocks boom boom click on it and you got a rock it's that easy literally that easy and it's got more objects so you can go yeah and go shift day if you're looking for like a pop joint so pop joints boom go yeah and then you can the same thing radius you can change that divisions angle you can change like that you can move it like this and then you can change the length and then length as well and there's obviously more but you can see how this can come in handy so you got this same thing you've got gears boom got a gear number of teeth bam like that you can change the base width without having to mess around and you know just play around having to model these kind of things so it just saves you time and like i said the whole point of this video was three add-ons that will save you time in blender and these will definitely save you time so hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure, make sure you subscribe check out the patreon check out blender kit see you in the next video make sure you subscribe peace